Hi guys, welcome back to VPN part four. So in our last video, part three, we left off where we configured our phase one tunnel and our phase two tunnel on router one. What we now have to do guys is we have to do a very similar configuration on our friend R3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close down R1 and I'm gonna bring back up our friend R3. Now what we've got to do is we've got to do a very similar configuration now and um, basically on this. So just to kind of round back where we are folks, we've done part one now. We've configured, we've done our connectivity tests from A to C. We've configured our interesting traffic going across from R1 to R3. We've basically configured our phase one tunnel using our haggle, our hashing, our authentication, our Diffie-Hellman group our lifetime and our basically encryption standard. We then brought up our phase two, or if you like, we configured our phase two um, configuration. What was that? We, we, we put a new data encryption standard in, AES, and we also ensured to put a hashing of HMAC in there. Also, the final thing what we did was we tied it to our crypto map on our outgoing interface. Now it's time to configure our part two, which is going back the way. So we've got to do all of those steps now on R3. And in this case, what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to do this a lot, hopefully, quicker than what we did the, the previous. So what I'm going to do is, with this up on screen, guys, I'm going to go through this very quickly. The first thing I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to do that show version command again. And what we'll see is, you'll notice here that I've already configured that basically um, new license to allow me to do security. So that's there. Also, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna need to add in the access list. But remember, it's gonna be slightly different this time, guys. Why is it gonna be slightly different? Because what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have to permit traffic from going from, if you like, the 30 network, going to the 10 network. So it's like we're going back the way now, guys. Okay, so that's really important that you get that right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna say 192.168.30 as my source address, going from the, the wildcard mask of 255, sorry, 0.0.0.255, .0 .0 going to the 192.168.10 network, zero, and 0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. Oh, let's get that right, let's not rush too fast. Dot two five five, and oh, it's a little problem. Let's let's see where we went wrong, guys. Access list one hundred permit one nine two one state thirty dot zero zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five. Um, what's wrong, guys? Did we not? Did we miss a space there? Let's just double check. Um, what's wrong? I access list one hundred permit. Oh, we've missed the IP keyword, haven't we? Let's, I should have put that in. So the IP keyword should just go right before our IP address there. Um, there we go, that's better, okay? So what we've got, we've now got our interesting traffic, we've donated that. Now we're gonna configure our Ike phase one. Now remember guys, if we start to change the configuration or we don't agree to the same principles that R1 did, what's going to happen is, our tunnel, phase one tunnel, is just not gonna come up. So we have to use the same configuration, a very same configuration that we did on R1. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again go go to crypto, I'm gonna say isocamp, and I'm gonna say policy 10, the same one that I did over on R1. I'm gonna say encryption using the same AES, 128 bits, again, same that I did over on R1. I'm gonna use my authentication, a pre-share key, I'm gonna basically say Diffie Hellman group of five, I'm gonna exit, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my crypto uh, isocamp. VPN was my key, so again, I don't wanna call that VPN in caps, or VPN123, if I do that, it's simply not gonna come up. And then I'm gonna use my address of, so let's go, oh, hold on, just before I do that, I need to put in my key key, VPN, and again, just using my tab key can sometimes tell me if I'm on the right lines with my configuration, guys. So in this case, I'm saying, what's my peer? In this case, it's the opposite than it was earlier on. I'm now saying my peer from R3 is R1. So in this case, R1's interface, that's the outgoing, so we can see this is the interface here that we're configuring, okay, on R1. Once we're Configured with that, guys, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to obviously do our last 
section. So we're, we're basically going to say that's now, if you like, phase one. We're going to now need to bring up our phase two, which is going to carry our data. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say crypto. Um, in this case, IPsec. This is the, the name of the, if you like, the phase two. It's called the IPsec, the, the actual phase two tunnel. And then basically, I'm going to say my transform set. Again, I'm going to say VPN, phase two in this case. And I'm going to say ESP. In this case, I'm going to say AES. It didn't allow me to use my tab key there because there's many options. And I'm going to say ESP dash, again, SHA HMAC, the same that we configured over an R1. Now what we're going to do is our crypto map. So again, I'm being careful to use the same configuration as I used across an R1. I'm going to say 10 and I'm going to say IPsec. That's fine. I want to add now our description. So in this case, it's going to be a VPN connection to our friend to OR1. That's cool. Then I'm going to set the peer again. So set peer. I'm going to say 10.10.10.2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my transform set. So when this comes up, so this is like a, a big, um, you know, to make sure that we get the transform set correct. I'm going to tie that again to VPN dash p2 and then i'm going to say match address and again this is for my acl which was acl 100 and then i'm going to exit the last thing i'm going to do folks like i did earlier on i'm going to tie this to my outgoing interface and as we can see on on router or three let's bring that up in this case it's on serial 001 so it's really really important that i wasn't going to say 000 because again that's not the same here on r3 so in this case what i'm going to do is just make sure i click on r3 bring back up my configuration so i'm going to go slash zero slash one in this case and i'm going to say crypto map vpn and then what that should do guys is i should now be in business it should bring up basically my phase one and phase two tunnels okay so now what should be the case guys is we've now got a, got 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 to a stage where we've brought up our basically phase one and phase two tunnels so you might say well okay we've conf and I, let me just apologize i've configured my phase one and phase two on both peers now my boat VPN pairs, which is R1 and R3. What's going to trigger this to actually create this now? Well, what's going to trigger this is, at the moment, they haven't actually come up. They're not live yet. What actually R1 is waiting for is, it's waiting for traffic to come from this IP address, from this source, going to this destination. Once, that, once they see that, it will bring up this phase one and phase two tunnel. Okay, so that's what it's waiting for. So essentially, in the next video, guys, in our last video, you'll have to come back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna verify this happening. We're gonna see our traffic going across our network and hopefully see our encrypted traffic going across the network. Okay, guys, hopefully you're excited as me and you'll be right back with me very shortly.